Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the complex analysis. Today I will explain you some more examples related to the Lorentz series. Myself Dr. Harish Garg you can follow and subscribe my YouTube channel where you can find the playlist of the complex analysis. In this playlist you can see the complete theory lectures as well as the previous years PY question series explained with the help of the easiest manner. And you can see the last lecture was on the Lorentz series. In this lecture we have learned how you can express any function fx or fz in terms of the Lorentz series. Particularly in this lecture we will learn how you can express the function which is particular of the polynomial types like z plus 3 divided by polynomial and so on. In this lecture we will learn how you can write how you can express the Lorentz series for the non polynomial function such as 1 minus cos z divided by z cube, sine of z plus 1 over z and many more in terms of the Lorentz series. Look at the first example. You can see the function is my cos of z. Always remember what I told you in our previous lecture is if you have the function fz and your target is to check the Lorentz series or the Taylor series about the point z is equal to z0. If the function z function value at the point z0 is my finite then you can always apply the Taylor series while if the function value of the z0 goes to the infinity then we can apply the Lorentz series. In this case your target is to check about the point z is equal to 0. Firstly we will check whether it's a Taylor series is applicable or the Lorentz series. You can see at the point 0 cos 0 is a 1. 0. So it's a 0 by 0 form. I can apply the allopeter rule. So it's a sin z divided by 3z square. Again it's a 0 by 0 form. Again I can apply the allopeter rule. So clearly say this will go to the infinity because whenever z is 0 cos of 0 is 1. 1 divided by 0 is infinity. Yes you can apply the Lorentz series. Fine. So how you can apply the Lorentz series for this particular case? We all know what is the expansion of the cos of z. 1 minus z square over 2 factorial plus z raised to power 4 over 4 factorial and so on. I can substitute the value of the cos z in this given expression. Fine. Now you can open this bracket. It's a 1 over z cube. 1 will be cancelled out. It is z square over 2 factorial minus z4 over 4 factorial plus z6 over 6 factorial and so on. I can open this bracket. I can cancel out. It's a 2 factorial into z minus 1 over 4 factorial into z plus z cube over 6 factorial and so on is the required Lorentz series of the function. Make sure your target is to find the point. If your target is to find the point at the z is equal to z node, then always always remember your target is to express each value of the z in terms of z minus z0. In this particular example z0 is my 0 so I have to express every quantity wherever the z written in terms of the z minus 0. Look at this next one. Find the terms in the Lorentz expansions. You can see my given function is e raised to power z minus 1. Clearly say at the point z is equal to 0. This value will go to the infinity. You can apply the Lorentz series. Now do you know what is the uh, do you know what is the expansion of the e raised to power z? Because we need here is exponential term. e raised to power z is 1 plus z plus z square over 2 factorial and so on. I can substitute the value of the e raised to power z in the given function. Now you can open this bracket. 1 will be cancelled out. Fine. It will be z plus z square over 2 factorial and so on. I can take an z is a common. It is 1 over z square. 1 plus z over 2 factorial and so on. Fine. Now I can write this series is 1 over z square into 1 plus z over 2 factorial, z square over 3 factorial plus so on raised to power minus 1. Now we can use the inequalities 
that I use the equality that I have used in the ex examples of the Lorentz series. What is our series is 1 plus x raised to power minus 1 is 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube and so on. So in this particular example, this is my x and clearly say z over 2 factorial is less than of the 1. Now I can write this is 1 minus x plus x square plus x cube and so on. Now you can make the coefficient pair. What is the constant? There is only one constant. Fine. Now you can make the coefficient of the z. In this case, it is minus 1 over 2 factorial. If you open this one, it's a a square. That's a z square. There is no term involving the coefficient of the z. Plus z square. What is the coefficient of the z square? Is minus 1 over 3 factorial. Can you find the coefficient of the z square from this case? Yes. If you open this a square, it will be 1 over 2 factorial square. Can you find the coefficient of the z square from this? It's a cube, though there is no coefficient of the z square. Plus z cube. Can you find the coefficient of the z cube from this? The next term will be z cube over 4 factorial. It is minus 1 over 4 factorial. Can you find the coefficient of the z cube from this expression? Yes, if you apply that a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab. If you apply that 2ab, it will be 2, 1 over 2 factorial, 1 over 3 factorial. That is 1 over 3 factorial. Can you find the coefficient of the j, a, uh, cube? Yes, the first term, it's a negative, minus 1 over 2 factorial cube and so on. So I can write this term as j minus z over 2. You can see z2 factorial is my 2. It is minus 1 over 6 plus 2 factorial is 2. It's a 1 over 4. Minus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 4. Now you can open this bracket. It is 1. You can take 12 is the LCM. 3 minus 2 is a 1. 1 over 12 into z square and so on. Now you can open this z cube. You will get is the required answer of this problem. I hope you can like and comment on this video as well. Now again your target is to expand the series about the z1. So firstly we will see your fz is e raised to power z over z minus 1 square. Can you apply the Taylor series or can you apply the Lorentz series of this function? My target is to find the values of the f of 1. f of 1 will be infinity. So once it's infinity, that means you have to apply the Laurent series. Now once you have to target is about the Laurent series, your target is to express each functions of the z in terms of z minus z0. In this case, z0 is my 1. So your target is to write the value of the z in terms of z minus 1. So how you can write the each quantity in terms of z minus 1? Look at the numerator. I can minus 1 into e raised to power 1. This case is already z minus 1. So that is a expression. Fine. Remember, if your function will be look like say this over z square. Fine. Then how you can write in terms of the z minus 1? Again, the numerator will be z minus 1 into e raised to power 1. I have to write the value of the z in terms of, so what you can do, I have to, that means this is z square plus 1 minus of 2z. So I have to subtract minus 1 plus of 2z. Again, I have to write this value in terms of z minus 1. It is minus of 2, then it's my plus 2. Now you can see everywhere, wherever the z is written, it is in the form of z minus 1. Fine. Now you can expand this. It's a e common z minus 1 square common. Now you can expand the series of the z minus 1. It is 1 plus x plus x square divided by 2 factorial and so on. Fine. Now you can open this bracket. E is a constant which is outside z minus 1 square plus 1 over z minus 1 plus 1 over 2 factorial 
plus z minus 1 over 3 factorial and so on is the required Lorentz series of this function. Look at this another part. Expand the function. So they are not talking about at z is equal to something. They are not given about that. Fine. So how you can solve this problem? Now if you closely look about this function, clearly say when z is equal to 0, what is the value of the fz? This will go to the infinity because 1 over 0 is the infinity. So that means that means you can apply the Lorentz series about the function fz. Or you can also say the function fz is not analytic about about z is equal to 0. If the function is not analytic about the point 0, then we have to apply the Lorentz series. So how you can apply the Lorentz series about the point z is equal to 0, where, where bn is my a of minus n and what is the coefficient of the a n? I can obtain as 1 over 2 pi iota integration over the curve fz divided by z minus z0 raised to power n plus 1. So my target, so my target is to find the value of the a n. Because once we know the value of the a n, I can easily find the value of the b n by replacing n to be the minus n. So let's start with the a n. I can substitute the value of the f z as a given function. Fine. Now how you can integrate them? It's a very difficult you can integrate. So about the point z is equal to 0, about the point z is equal to 0, I can take, I can take the polar coordinate. Fine. So this implies what is the value of the dz is the iota e raised to power iota theta into d theta. Fine. I can calculate the value of the z plus 1 over z. It is e raised to power iota theta e raised to power minus. I can apply in the form of the cos plus iota sign plus what is the value of negative value is cos minus iota sine. So clearly say sine and sine will be cancelled out. It is twice of cos theta. I can substitute all these values in the given equation. It will be 1 over 2 pi iota. What is the curve? Curve is my complete circle from the 0 to 2 pi. 1 over z e raised to power iota into n plus 1 theta. Sine c. What is the value of the z plus is a 2 cos theta. What is the value of the dz? dz is my iota e raised to power iota theta into d theta. Now clearly say the value of the iota will be cancelled out. So it is 1 over 2 pi from integration from the 0 to 2 pi. You can see this value will be e, e raised to power iota n plus 1 into theta and e raised to power iota theta. So if you cancel out, it will be e raised to power minus iota n into theta sine of 2c cos theta of d. Fine. Now you can open this by the de Morbis theorem. This value will be cos of n theta minus iota sine of n theta. Fine. So I can open this bracket and then you can you can use as the separate integration. I can multiply this value. Fine. Now, we all know whenever you have the integration from 0 to 2a, f of x dx. It is 0 if, when it will be 0? It is 0 only when the function is f of 2a plus 0 minus x, which is equal to minus of fx. Fine. Basically, we are talking about the odd function. Now, clearly say from this case, this is my f. So, can you calculate the value of the 2 pi minus x? What is the value of the cos of 2 pi minus x? It is the same value. Fine. It is the same value. What is the value of the sine 2 and pi? It's a negative. It's an even function. So, it's a sine of n theta. You can see that it satisfied my negative of fx. So, that means... The second integration is my 0 because of this value. So therefore, 
this value will be my zero the only integration is my this part so this value is my a of n now can you find the value of the bn bn will be a of minus n i can replace the value of the n to be minus of n so once you replace the value of the n to be the minus n again this value will remain the same because cos of minus angle is always a positive angle or you can say bn is nothing but my a n fine so once you know the value of the bn once we know the value of the a n i can substitute in the given expression so this is the a0 an is equal to bn so i can take an an is a common fine so it will be z raised to power n plus 1 over z raised to power n is the required answer of this problem because the integration of this part is not possible so we can leave as such for this part look at the next question i hope you can comment and the like on this video as well expand the function f z which is given as e raised to power c over 2 z minus 1 over z so firstly check whether check whether z is equal to 0 function value is analytic or not what is the value of the f of 0 e raised to power c over 2 0 minus infinity that means e raised to power minus infinity which is my finite fine So once is a finite, we have to apply the Taylor series. Lorentz series is not applicable for this problem. Or you can say the function is analytic everywhere. So this function is analytic for all the values of the z, and hence we can apply the Taylor series. And our target is to find the value of the a n only. Again, the value of the a n you can compute again in a similar manner. i can substitute the value of the fz which is defined as exponential terms again i can take the value of the z is e raised to power iota theta this implies dz will be my iota e raised to power iota theta i can calculate the value of the z minus 1 over z it is e raised to power iota theta e raised to power minus so that will be my twice iota sin theta i can substitute all these values in the given expressions and the integrations are from 0 to 2 pi again from this case e raised to power iota theta will be cancel out outside iota will be cancel out again it is e raised to power minus iota and theta again i can open this value as form of the cos minus sin of n theta fine or you can write because the both are the exponential parts so i can add this component i can apply the de morvis theorem fine you can separate them again you can see this value will be my zero by using the same or function concept so therefore your answer will be an is this expression now since the integration of this part is not possible because it's a cosine and the sine terms involvement so therefore i can substitute the value of the an in the given taylor series function so you will get the required answer of this series look at this another one again this is the lorentz series again at the point z is equal to pi by 4 clearly say at the point pi by 4 this will goes to infinity so you can apply the lorentz series so your target is to find the value of the an and the bn you can obtain as the a of minus n and that you can do it by on fine i can give you the hint instead of taking as z is e raised to power iota theta instead of this because because my curve is z minus pi by 4 so you can consider this part is my e raised to power iota theta so your dz will be iota fine and then again whatever the expression you are needed you can substitute the value and get your answer you can do it by yourself and let me know your answer in the comment box whether you are able to understand this solutions or not we will see the next lecture very soon on the singularities of the complex nature of the complex functions till then you can share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thanks for the watching students 
बेस्ट ऑफ लक स्टूडेंट्स हैप्पी लक